It has a silly name, but my God, is it useful. That's right. Today, we are talking about caps, that way that we go back and forth between different poi tricks without having to stall the poi. Very, very helpful. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, bringing you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain during the COVID-19 outbreak. Today, we are talking about one of the most mathematical concepts in poi, but one that I have found incredibly useful. That is caps. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So real talk, um, this is actually the second time I'm recording this video because I really didn't like the first version. It felt to me like I was just throwing stuff at you and not really giving you practical applications or in-depth instructions instructions on how to do all of the different pieces and everything. So this is going to be a less ambitious version of this video, but hopefully it will be a more useful one. So with all that said, let's talk about caps continuous assembly patterns. So we actually get the name caps from a French poi spinner by the name of Damien Boibovier. I do not speak French. There's absolutely no chance that that's right, but you can guess the spelling based upon how I'm saying that, right? Anyway, so Damien was watching a video of another poi spinner by the name of Yuta Imamura, and he noticed Yuta doing these two patterns, this one and this one right here, and realized that they had some things in common. Namely, both of them involve going back and forth between extension and anti-spin in such a way that the hand just seemed to be moving back and forth along a circle, right? Now, this kind of triggered an aha moment for him. So think about it this way. When we spin the poi, Poi, what was really happening here is that we are having the poi move back and forth along two different axes. And I can show you what I mean here. If I turn around here, just so you can see the profile of the poi, uh, you can also see that it seems to be just moving back and forth along the x-axis here, right? And by the same token, if I have it move on a horizontal plane, it looks like it's just going back and forth across an x-axis. We call this tendency of objects that are going back and forth along different uh, axes, periosity, right? Now, what he noticed about what was going on in a cap was that the hand was exhibiting periosity instead of the poi. The poi was doing it too, but the hand was basically going straight back and forth along a segment of a circle. You can see this more obviously from the side here where it looks like the hand is just going back and forth along that half of the circle, right? Now this opened up an entire world of possibilities because you realized that you could change whichever poi pattern the hand was performing depending upon the direction that the hand was moving along this segment. So let me translate that real quick. Basically, when I am spinning the poi clockwise here, I can move my hand around in a circle either clockwise, in which case I get in-spin or extension patterns out of it, or I can move my hand counterclockwise, in which case I get anti-spin patterns out of it, right? But here's the thing, whether my hand is moving clockwise or counterclockwise, I can keep the poi spinning the entire time. In this way, I can switch back and forth between these different types of poi patterns relatively easily. So Damien, seeing this, coined an entire category of poi tricks that he called continuous assembly patterns, or caps for short. There are a lot of people out there in the poi world that have come up with some very creative assumptions of what the acronym CAP actually stands for, but I'm here telling you that it's continuous assembly patterns and I will link to Damien's original post down in the description so you can go see it for yourself. But yeah, it's continuous assembly pattern, which granted is a mouthful, but I'm also glad that we shortened that down to CAPs. Okay, so now that I have given you a whole bunch of theory, how about we actually do some cap spinning and see what applications this opens up for us, yeah? So first and foremost, I'm gonna teach you how to do a basic, what they call C cap. That is going back and forth with the hand moving along a segment that looks like the letter C. Now, it's gonna be helpful to uh, bring back some of the stuff that we were learning way back in our lesson on anti-spin flowers and specifically how 
how to do triquetras. Uh, I will go ahead and link to that down in the description, but I will also briefly catch you up on some of the techniques involved. So basically with the poi spinning clockwise, I want you to bring your hand over to your left hand side and you're going to drop the poi head down your center line and it's going to drag your hand behind it. Now you're going to pull your hand out to the right hand side. The poi should still be spinning clockwise and you're going to drag the poi head underneath your hand all the way back to your left. So it's a dip going from left to right and a drag going from right to left. You basically want to think dip, drag, dip, drag, dip, drag, going back and forth. This is a two beat move. The only times the poi goes underneath your hand are when you're traveling from side to side. Okay, so now let's add some up down motion with our hands because you can see that the side to side motion is happening. Hey, there's that curiosity of ours, but we need to make sure that it is also dropping with the poi in order to get the full move there. So I want you to experiment with as the poi drops, your hand drops, and as the poi drags, your hand drags. Down and around, we dip, and drag, dip, and drag, dip, and drag, yeah? So it's not uncommon as people are working on this that they will have their hand go straight back and forth either on the dip or on the drag and have their hand go down otherwise. Really, really think that your job is to get your hand down past your hips each time going both ways, dipping, dragging, dipping, dragging, yeah? Cool, so you're gonna feel yourself going back and forth between doing an anti-spin pedal going one way and an extension the other way. I want you to play around with this a little bit. I want you to take that spot over on your right hand side where you switch into an extension and I want you to take the extension all the way around, thinking big circle around to your left and then drop it back into that cap. Again, I want you to think, big extension all the way around and on your left side, drop it back down into a cap, yeah? This will start to teach you how you can go back and forth between these different driving styles as your hand switches direction. And you know, you can do as many of these in between as you want. I highly recommend that you take this slow. If you try and speed your way through it, it's more likely that the poise is gonna hit you. Think that part of your job here is to actually try and get through this as slowly as you possibly can. That's gonna make sure that you have more control. Okay, now let's try doing it the other way around. Let's try doing the anti-spin flower all the way around. So we switch into the anti-spin over here on our left hand side and I want you to think, coming off of the left, we're gonna go down, right, up, to the left, down, right, and switch back into the cap. Notice that we always switch into extension on our right hand side and we always switch into anti-spin on our left hand side. So let's do that again, shall we? Thinking down, right, up, left, down, right, and switch back into the extension. You always want to switch into the extension when the poi is pointing out away from you. So one more time, you want to go off of that bottom pedal, down, right, up, left, down, right, and switch back into the extension. It's pretty cool because you can go back and forth between these two things pretty easily depending upon where you want to pick it up. Okay, so now I want you to try making both switches over to the left hand side. What this means is that you'll do a full anti-spin flower down, right, up, and left, and then pick your hand up to go into the extension. You drop it again on the left hand side, going down, right, up, left, extension all the way around, and then down, right, up, left, extension all the way around, down, right, up, left, extension all the way around, going straight back and forth between a full extension and a four pedal anti-spin flower, yeah? And I want you to try doing the same thing with your left hand, but all of this stuff is gonna happen over in the right hand side now, yeah? Think that you're gonna go ahead and anti-spin up, left, down, right, and swing back around. You're gonna anti-spin up, left, down, right, swing all the way back around, up, left, down, right, swing all the way around and up, left, down, right, all the way back around, yeah? Cool, now we're gonna put that together because it turns out that caps are actually the answer to a riddle I gave you weeks ago. Remember when we learned how to do our split time same direction anti-spin flowers and I told you that we need to do them in wheel plane because otherwise our arms get tangled up? Well, guess what? Caps are how we get out of that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our poi spinning split time same direction clockwise here in wall plane. And I'm gonna go ahead and have you wrap your hands around following the direction of the poi. So you're gonna wind up with your left hand on top and your right hand on bottom, yeah? Again, this is wall plane. We're not doing a crosser here. We are trying to keep the planes of our poi such that they don't run into each other with our arms crossed. 
We worked on this a few weeks back in my tutorial on the lanes of poi. I will go ahead and link to that down in the description if you need to catch up, yeah? Okay, so from here, we're gonna switch into our anti-spin flowers. Left hand is gonna go up, out to the side, and then underneath our right hand, yeah? The right hand is gonna go down to the side, up, and then above the left hand, yeah? So the two of them together wind up going like this. Think up, down, sides, up, down, cross, yeah? Let me show you that again. It's up, down, sides, up, down, cross, yeah? Now, from here, we're back in that lanes of plane place, lanes of plane, lanes of poi, excuse me. And we're gonna go ahead and you, you can hang out here for a couple beats and then do an extension all the way around to wrap your arms again with your right hand on bottom and your left hand on top. So we're back to anti-spin and it'll be up, down, side, up, down, crossed. We unwrap and we do up, down, side, up, down, cross. Again, we unwrap and we do up, down, side, up, down, cross, yeah? If you need to break this down more, you can always think of it as like, okay, we're gonna pop out to the side, hang out for a couple beats, pop, and get our arms crossed, yeah? So as we usually do, we can hang out in each spot for three beats. Think that with the left hand on top, we're gonna do three, two, one, pop mountain open, three, two, one, pop mountain closed, three, two, one, and we come all the way back home, three, two, one, pop them out and open, three, two, one, pop them out and close, three, two, one, bring them all the way back around, and then work our way down to twos, one, two, we pop them out, one, two, we pop them out, one, two, we go back around, one, two, we pop them out, one, two, we pop them back in, one, two, back around, yeah? And then you try and just go down to ones, one, one, and guess what? You're doing that cap now. Not only is this a great way to be able to do anti-spin flowers in wall plane, I also think it just looks really cool in its own right. This is one of those cases where we're performing a pattern that, uh, quite frankly, it looks like a trick in itself. So uh, I'm definitely inclined both to use it as a transition tool because, of course, I can go into my split time same direction anti-spins from here or my split time same direction extensions. Uh, but also I can just hang out here and wow my audience with my poi prowess. Waha. Cool, so let me show you all that in slow motion. Awesome, so you will notice that we covered this one specific usage for a cap because it dovetails with some stuff that we've already been doing. Um, and we didn't do the cap that uh, is famous from the Utah video. And that was kind of deliberate because that cap takes a little bit more involved work, but it's a topic I'm really happy to take a look at later on down the road if you all wanna learn that pattern. Let me know down in the comments, is this a good entry level cap or would you rather learn uh, the one that everybody knows and loves? Uh, pretty please show me your caps. Go ahead and record video and post it to Instagram and Facebook. I'm Drex Factor on Instagram and I'm Drex Factor Poi on Facebook. Please tag me so I can see your hard work. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment because it helps other people find these videos. Plus which it tells me what topics I've chosen that people are actually out there digging and everything. So um, it means a lot to me and uh, I would love to see more of it out there. And of course, if you are enjoying this project, if you are enjoying seeing me posting a new tutorial every weekday of the COVID-19 quarantine, consider signing up to support this project over on Patreon, like all of these nice folks did. Um, Patreon has been an absolute godsend for me in navigating the outbreak because God only knows when it started up, we were all really scared to see what happened next. And um, I certainly didn't know, being in a creative profession and everything, whether there was going to 
to be a place for me in the world to come. And I have been so happy not only to be able to keep on doing this work, but also to be able to inspire so many other people across the world. And it is my Patreon subscribers that have helped do that. So if you have the means to help out with that project, and I totally understand if you don't, but if you do, uh, please consider signing up to support me at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Uh, plus which I will post some behind the scenes and extra stuff there on occasion too. So go check that out. Please and thank you. All right, so tomorrow's Friday and you know what that means. It means that we have another combo coming your way. Uh, I can't wait to drop that one on you. So please be back here tomorrow morning for it. I'll see you then. Peace.